we have given two decimal numbers and we have to divide them. And next, we have to run to the nearest tenth. So first, let's see what we have here. We have decimal number divisor and dividend is decimal number. We know that divisor cannot be decimal number. So first, we have to move decimal point. And how many digits we have to move decimal point to get whole number? Only one. So the says we have to do with our dividend, we have to move decimal point one digit. Now we can rewrite our example. We have to divide five nine eight decimal point three one by thirty seven. We don't need to write after seven decimal point. And now how many times thirty seven goes to 59. 1. So 1 we have to write above 9 exactly in the same column and now we have to do multiplication. 1 times 37 is 37 and now we have to do subtraction. 9 minus 7 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. What next? We have to take down next digit. So it would be 8. So we have 228. How many times 37 goes to 228? 6. So we have to write 6 exactly in the same column. And now we have to do multiplication. 6 times 37 is 222. Again, now we have to do subtraction. 8 minus 2 is 6. 2 minus 2 will be 0, so we don't have to write. Next, we have to take decimal point to our solution to the top exactly in the same column. We have to write decimal point and we take down next digit. So it will be 63 and the top we have decimal point. How many times 37 goes to 63? 1. So we have to write 1 on the top and now we can do multiplication. 1 times 37 is 37. Subtraction. We have 3 minus 7 so we have to borrow 1 from 6. So it will be 13 and 6 minus 1 is 5. 13 minus 7 is 6. 5 minus 3 is 2. And again we have to take down next digit. So it will be 1. 261. How many times 37 goes to 261? 7 times. And now again we have to do multiplication. 7 times 37 is 259. Subtraction. So we need to borrow from 6, 1. So it will be 11 and 6 minus 1 is 5. 11 minus 9 is 2. 5 minus 5 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. And because we need to round our solution to the nearest 10, it, we have th at the end, so we need to have two digits after digits after our decimal point because first is tenth, so we need to have one more digit to run this solution. So we have exactly two digits after decimal point, so we don't have to do any more long division. We can rewrite that we have. 16 decimal point 17 and now because we need to run to nearest 10 like I said so we have to underline our 10th and we have to check digits after our underline digit is 7 when we have number greater than 5 or 5 what we have to do we have to add 1 to our underline digits and now Every digit after our underlined digit, we have to change to 
zero, so it will be zero. And now one plus one is two. Decimal point we copy exactly in the same column, and we have to rewrite everything what we have before our this underlying digit. So our solution will be 16.2. We don't have to write the zero because the, it doesn't change the value of our number. So we have 16 decimal point two. This is my solution.